Now a lot of people probably don't associate Glock with a really long history, but they're actually celebrating their 30th anniversary in the United States, and for a pretty young company, they have made some significant contributions. So here's some five random facts about the Glock company. A lot of people associate Glock with the polymer handgun, as they should, but they actually weren't the first person to produce it. Heckler and Koch produced the Volkspistola 70, the VP70, and of course, 1970. But Glock was the first commercially successful polymer pistol on the market. Another thing you might not know is that Gaston Glock, like a lot of people whose names you associate with firearms, was not originally a gun designer. He was a specialist in polymers, and he had Glock KG before he enlisted a crew of firearms designers to develop the infamous P80 Glock. Now that Glock, once it was picked up by the Austrian military, went all over the world in popularity. What a lot of people don't know is it was actually sold in Canada before it came to the United States. Sold in Canada in 1985. The United States picked it up with the first law enforcement in 1986, and now they have about 65% of law enforcement sales in the United States. You might also not associate Glocks with the American West, but they are becoming a very popular point-and-shoot gun that you've seen on shows like Longmire, and they're carried by lots of law enforcement officers in small towns all over the American West. So as you see Glocks all over the United States and in popular culture, you can also go to this fun fact, which I'm not really shocking anyone, but there was a rumor started that Glocks could go through airport security. Well, obviously that's not true, but you can thank Bruce Willis and Die Hard for perpetuating that rumor.